A mechanical system can often be highly repeatable, but not necessarily accurate. Fortunately, its repeatability, the ability to reliably return to a given position, gives us a means to improve the accuracy. As an example, let's say we are throwing darts, and the goal is to hit the bullseye of the dartboard as many times as possible. But when we aim for the bullseye, we actually hit two inches above and to the right of the target in a repeatable pattern. Armed with this knowledge, on our next throw we would aim two inches down and to the left of the bullseye. Assuming all else is equal, we would hit the bullseye. Now let's apply this concept to a linear stage. The controller commands the stage to move to a particular position. This position represents our bullseye from the dart throwing example. The laser interferometer that is checking the actual position of the stage is the equivalent of us looking at the dartboard to see where the darts land. The interferometer measures the final position of the stage, and we can then record the difference between the actual final position and the position the controller commanded. We can then repeat this procedure for a range of points throughout the travel of the linear stage. Let's say that the stage has a travel range of 500 millimeters, and we want to calibrate the accuracy over the entire travel. We would move the stage to a range of positions and use the interferometer to take a measurement at each position. As a simple example, we could collect the data every 100 millimeters and create a table of the commanded position and the actual position achieved. We then take the difference between the commanded and actual position values and create a third column, the correction value. The end result is a lookup table that can be used to correct the position of the stage throughout the travel range, improving accuracy. Any sufficiently advanced motion controller can incorporate this lookup table and use it during all motion commands so that the stage moves to the correct position without the laser interferometer. Most controllers will also interpolate between points. So if you have correction values at 0 and 100 millimeters, but you command to move to 50 millimeters, the controller will take the two surrounding data points from the lookup table, 0 and 100, and interpolate between them to come up with a correction value for the point at 50 millimeters. Calibration and error correction is a powerful capability, but there are three prerequisites to fulfill before you can try this on your own. First, you must be able to depend upon the fundamental quality of materials and construction of the mechanical components to provide a repeatable system. Second, you should be able to utilize specific expertise and tools in metrology in order to effectively map the errors of the stage. And finally, you'll need to make sure your motion controller can interpret a calibration table. If your situation meets these requirements, this tutorial should enable you to easily engage in your own calibration and error correction practices.